Because science is such a huge subject and there's so many different ways that um, children could understand something. It's very difficult to kind of try and get a grasp of that understanding. Science is a tricky one to assess because you've got your knowledge of objectives to assess, you've got your skills to assess as well and I think it's important that you make that clear distinction. SNAP Science, it does give you that opportunity because children are working so hands-on and it's very creative in some of the outcomes of the lessons. When you start and you look at your unit of learning, it's very much that first lesson is an introduction to the unit and very much how much do they already know. And I think that really helps and you're coming at that in a question way. Now I want you to focus in your answers really on what the experiment was asking with our key question. That's going to focus all our thinking. On the plans, it's very much you go around and ask children specific questions and then it says, right, if they understand that, ask them this question. It, then it is in greater depth as well, which is really helpful. They've been really helpful to have they met that learning objective, have they fulfilled the criteria. I think that works really well on the knowledge side. That's separate from the investigative, their, their inquiry skills and all, all that, that side as well. That's very much through their hands-on experience and observation of the children. Are they becoming independent learners and able to show those concepts and understanding of those concepts in their own devising of their own experiments?